Okay, welcome back. Um, I know I've actually it's, it's been a little while since I did a video for my channel, so glad you had your back. And it's been a really long time since I did some cooking, so I am excited to make this little meal for you guys today. Today I am making pizza, and the question is: two pineapple or don't pineapple? Stay tuned. Okay, so so today. I am going to use, I have some marinara sauce, some onions, I'm using some Beyond Sausage, um, I like feta cheese and I'm trying this um, BioLife cheese. And what I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna use some BioLife um, shredded mozzarella and some regular mozzarella. So the whole point of this video is to kind of make it, you can see the difference uh, between a vegan pizza and a regular pizza. So you can see if you like the vegan stuff or you don't like the vegan stuff, and I'm trying a completely new recipe today um, that I've never tried, so this could completely epically fail. Where I am going to try to, I've heard you can use applesauce instead of egg, so you're gonna use like a quarter applesauce, or a, yeah, a fourth cup of applesauce instead of an egg to uh, make the mix. Like you can replace egg with it. And so I'm using the mix, this garlic mix is from Again, Healthy Treats Market, if you haven't um, seen their stuff, like if you mix it together, this is only 80 calories, um, which you kind of have to do a little bit new math if you're not using an egg, because an egg is like, I don't even know how many calories, but like a serving of this is only 70 calories. So it might even be less calories to do it this way. But they are a company that they have bread and um, I did the I used their wraps which are very low calorie as well so you can use their bread and it's very low carbs it's it's all keto friendly and everything like that so today uh, the first thing I'm gonna do when I'm making this is this is basically raw sausage right it's a sausage but it's not again it's vegan sausage and I am going to spice it with I'm just gonna use some roasted urban urban garlic um, from grillmates so I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna put it in the pan I already had this pan kind of starting to heat up a little bit so I can kind of cook and I am going to spice everything about it I have, I've been heated, I've already preheated. Wow. Okay. So as you can see, I've already preheated the oven, or I've already preheated everything. The oven's still preheating. Um, my pan was preheating, and obviously it's a little bit much for now. So you kind of, I, I usually don't start at that high, but like normally I'll keep it like at a four. It was at a six, so your oil is going to start to boil a little bit. And all you're going to really do is kind of just try to get some of this flavor into the pan, right? So add some more seasoning. Because it doesn't, you're not going to, all you're really doing is adding the seasoning to the olive oil that I put in there earlier. So all you got, you're going to put some olive oil in there, get a little bit going, and you're going to add some seasoning to it. And make sure it's seasoned. And then that's probably all I'm going to put in there because now it's going to cook for a little bit um, while we kind of arrange everything else to go in the oven. So um, that's not going to go on for a little bit. I'm going to throw that away. So now we're going to make our bread mix. Um, so you just take one of these packets right here. From the, like I said, yeah, healthy healthytreatsmarket.com. You open it up, put it in a bowl, in a mixing bowl. 
take that and get it ready to throw aside. Drinking some uh, Michigan's um, own Oberon's, if you guys know. I'm from Michigan, so I drink a lot of their stuff. I talked to, talk to you guys about Blake's earlier, so you gotta have, you gotta have your drinks, right? Um, so then, oh, I need to get my milk out. Okay. So the recipe for this, this is, as you guys know, I don't really measure too much, but the recipe for this calls for one egg and what is it, two tablespoons calls for yeah two tablespoons of like cream right so what I do is I put two tablespoons of just regular milk you I mean I'm just using some soy milk uh, Yep, two. So you put one, two. And it's so minor, that's why I, I definitely measured this out. When you're baking, and this is kind of like baking, you're using, um, you're basically making bread. So that's the only time you, you have to measure unless you really know what you're doing. So I am definitely going to use... I'm gonna measure this one out, right? Um, now, here's what I'm gonna try now. I am, this is the first time I've done this. Usually I do this with eggs, but I wanted to see if I can make this completely vegan. Whereas even though this packet says it still could contain milk, eggs, and soy, so you're not necessarily vegan. You could be, but you might not be. But at the same time, it makes more sense, so what I got online is a fourth cup of applesauce is the same as one egg. So I'm interested to see how this actually works. Um, and since I can't scoop that out. Okay, one sec. Where is this? Okay. Got to improvise a little bit real quick. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Fourth cup. So I am going to fill this fourth cup up with some applesauce. And dump it in. Measure it out. Make sure it all gets out of that cup. All right? Okay, measurement cups are done. Put some tops back on this. And then really, I have my handy dandy whisk right here. So I'm gonna just whisk this together. And it's gonna create like a paste-like format. Um, and then you're gonna get it ready to go on the plate. Actually, that works really well. Don't worry, counter's, counter's green. Okay. I'm gonna take a spoon. So here I have just normal cooking sheet, right? Um, it's flat cooking sheet. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna put a little bit of olive oil on it. So I can, because what's going to happen is we're going to put it in the oven for 15 minutes. It's going to sit um, and it's going to rise. When it's done, you're going to have to, you go in there with the spatula and you have to like scrape it up. So you just don't, you're putting a little bit of olive oil on here so it doesn't stick to the pan. Just don't let it stick to the pan. Um, it's still going to have a little bit of stick, but you'll be fine. It'll, it'll be fine. So... Just a little bit of olive oil. Just spread it around. It's not going to be great or full, but it's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to take a spoon and just kind of even it out. My 
my sauce onto here. Kind of spread it out, make it circular, right? I mean, this could be a complete epic fail because I haven't used this. Like I said, I always use eggs. So I'm interested to see how it comes out just as much as you are. Um, it sounds like a good idea. We'll see. <laughs> um, kind of flatten it out, get it into a little bit of a circle. Make sure you get all of this out of there. And then what I am going to do now, okay, put that in the sink. So, mm, that tastes good. This is garlic as well. It's a garlic uh, bread mix, so I love garlic. So it, sh it, it usually works really well. And mixed with egg, it should work amazingly. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven for, I'm gonna put it in for 13 minutes. If you cook, so I've been told if you use more eggs, um, if you use three packets and three eggs and like do that with the recipe, like increase it by three, um, you can make a bigger pizza. This is just a personal pizza. Um, and so that's what we're what, what we're cooking today. So now while everything's kind of going along, I'm gonna open up the rest of my rest of my stuff. Get make sure everything is kind of cooked properly. And okay, come on, open up. There we go. Okay, so this is the the feta cheese. And it looks really good. You just gotta kind of crush up a little bit. Mm. Tastes really good too. This is my first time having the feta as well. I love feta on pizza, and this is actually the first time that I've actually had um, the BioLife feta. I've heard great things about it, so I'm trying to. I actually just got some of their cream cheese as well. Um, if you know, I'm not vegan or anything like that i do like to eat vegan stuff but it uh yeah i'm not completely vegan so i already had some uh onions cut up from earlier so i'm just gonna kind of actually cut them off a little bit more because i do want to put these on there um not really okay um cut up So, open this, and then, how is my sausage doing? Okay, doing really well. So right now, um, we will start cutting. half cut that in half good um you know dig some of that out i'll cut this up a little bit later even more but good pineapple goes in the bag um cut it up a little bit
Okay. So, one of the reasons, again, you guys know I like to talk politics and everything like that on here, too. I'm not talking politics as much today. Um, I, I kind of want to talk about just social media in general. Um, and what it's doing to us, right? Um, the last two days on Twitter and Facebook. Facebook and you know Instagram and everything like that it's 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 been what I call a hellscape um, I don't like friends like actual people that know me in real life that I consider really, like really close friends I don't give them my Twitter accounts for reasons and it's not because I'm ashamed of what I'm saying it's because I prefer to them not read into my my tweets um, because you can take what I say the wrong way, um, which I feel happened even yesterday with me. Um, I feel, you know, it, it it just causes animosity that shouldn't be there between people. Our lives have gotten so wrapped up in these spaces that you're looking at text and when you look at text think about the context so like you ever have that friend that like or boyfriend girlfriend whatever that texts you and it's like you know you 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 act like you you can't believe that they just said that to you um, when they were actually probably being sarcastic and, or when they say they were being sarcastic and it was a joke or anything like that, that's how social media is. Um, so I, with my friends, I prefer, you know, if there's an issue with me per with something I've said, um, you know, come to me, um, Again, I don't want any issues with people because of what I say on Twitter. And it's not that I'm hiding what I say on Twitter. I don't, I mean, I, I express the same opinions in real life that, as I do on Twitter and all social media, but it's different um, when you're reading it through text than when you're talking it out. You can see context by it when you're talking it out. Um, you can talk it through and everything like that. Um, and then there's the issue of just people can people can fake just about anything these days, right? So if you look at the big thing yesterday, the other big thing yesterday was um Blair White's followers she has so the, a TikTok person that follows her was that was following her on Twitter got completely like I guess they they had gotten like they went viral for their TikTok and then some really low life people just like went after her because insane because they said Blair's because she follows Blair and, and and Blair's not I mean they made up a bunch of lies about Blair so much so that you can see they did a like she had DM'd somebody um you know the N word with the heart R and everything like that and it's like she never did it. You can you can you can easily tell how debunked that was, but it's scary because people just believe it, even though you know that video editing software is out there. It's it's easy to do this type of stuff, right? Um, but somebody did debunk it, um, show how it's not. Um, Blair is a sweet, sweet person. Um, she cares more about her fans than she does 
about herself. Um, she has very thick skin. She can take the heat that she gets for expressing her views. But of course, with the coronavirus, um, you know, with the lockdown and mental health issues are already starting to hurt. She took it. She takes it really hard when one of her followers um, gets attacked, and it's not just this one follower. She came out today and said she has 15, 16 year old people that follow her getting attacked. They're sending her screenshots and everything like that, and it's just not right. Um, it's not what we should be looking at, and like I said, Twitter, social media can be a very toxic place. Um, I think we all need to step back from it every once in a while. I, I mean, even yesterday, I was not, I was not in a good space yesterday. Um, day started off wrong with some misunderstandings, and then it, it just kind of dogpiled on from there. Um, and and then the whole thing came with Blair, and I was tired and broken and just needed some time and I completely shut off disconnected because that's what I needed um, sometimes we have to disconnect I didn't have any social media running on my phone because it, it was a self care day I, I it, it I was just not feeling feeling in a great mood and social media was only dragging that mood down. So like I said, I shut it off. I closed my cocoon, which involves like I call it my cocoon because it's my I close the curtains behind me. I'm on the other side. If you see I have a whole wall of curtains that closes everything off. I just turn some, you know, dim lights on and turn on Netflix because that's all I needed for the day, and I feel I feel a lot better today. Um, I, but I, I encourage everybody right now to, you know, we got just disconnect every once in a while um, from social media because it's not helping um, to stay one hundred percent connected all the time. Um, it, it's it's hurting us and with being on quarantine that's what you're doing 24 hours a day so where it hurts anyways it's gonna be 10 times worse because you're if if you say something wrong or whatnot or people come after you for any reason you are you're gonna hurt that much worse because you can't escape it. So we just have to turn off every once in a while. And then you have people on these sites that thrive on this stuff. The person that went after Blair's follower, I mean, is completely, seems like a completely despicable person, seriously, um, when, you, when you look at what they, I mean, they have death to America in their, in their bio. They, they just, they don't like American values. And, but the, I mean, kids, they can't, I mean, they're, again, they're kids. So it, it really hits to the core. I can take stuff like that. Okay. I can, I mean, I mean, I've heard everything in the book you can think of. Not for my transition or anything like that. I've been lucky with that. But, I mean, I grew up with... Very, I mean, I have very, very thick skin anyways, right? I mean, I was in the Army for seven and a half years. You hear... You have to have a dark sense of humor, and you have to get there. But I can take what people say. Um, and that's the same with like what Blair was saying. And not only that... People are, people aren't even thinking logically about this stuff. Like, Blair's friend and somebody that 
I follow and actually follows me, I've had some conversation with, uh, Mikey Harlow stood up for Blair, and then out of nowhere they had him saying that, you know, they were calling him a pedophile, and now that's kind of sticking with him. Um, and so just like one person can completely ruin um, somebody's lives, and that's, it's interesting to, to say the least, right? Because um, that's going to follow him even though it's not true. It's not at all true. Um, because people are able to fake screenshots and fake DMs and everything like that. You just have to be so careful right now. It's, 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 a, it's a crazy world, and especially in social media. You just have to be careful. Um, but yeah, that's what I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that. But let me get back to the pizza a little bit. So see, it's flat right now. You kind of got to take your, it's not sticking to the pan as much as it usually does, which is actually kind of nice. I can flip it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So it might need to cook longer than normal with the with the applesauce in it it's fine um, so what I am going to do now is I am going to cut up first off where's my fork so I'm going to cut up my sausage into small little pieces so it acts like pepperoni. It's actually cooked really well. Um, yep, just little pieces. Okay, and that's probably all I'm gonna cut up is about a few pieces and then I need to take my spoon okay my applesauce spoon I take some marinara sauce and I'm gonna open so the first thing I put on this is some marinara spread it out okay Then you take your ingredients. So obviously I'm using some onions. Um, put some onions on there, kind of spread them out. I'm gonna use some different pieces because I'm not gonna use all of these. Spread them out. Got some onions on there. Put some sausage on there. Spread it all out. Okay, so I thought this video would have been completely hilarious if I had cut up all this uh, pineapple to get people riled up um, and then not put it in my pizza, but I'm a pineapple on pizza person, so. So I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to spread it out all over my pizza I don't care if you don't follow me anymore I'm almost at a thousand so if you uh, 
you're so willing spread my spread my uh, my Twitter and everybody on my you know give me some more followers but if you don't like pineapple on pizza I don't really care it's your choice but I like pineapples I am a pineapple on pizza person so there you have it okay now I'm gonna take some feta cheese oh that's a little bit watery some fake feta and break it up and just put it on here and there and everywhere hmm it's really good together though okay put it on the pizza That's probably enough for now. We'll see. We'll see for next time. Okay. Wash my hands for a second. Okay. Now. This is where, like I said, I'm gonna do half and half. So, take your vital life. What I've noticed is it melts, but it doesn't melt as good as regular. So I'm gonna put it on half so you kind of see how it melts. But it's still, again, it's, it's the vegan option and it's still, I honestly love the way that this, this cheese tastes. It doesn't, I will not pretend it tastes like regular mozzarella, but it tastes really good. So I really don't care so much. Um, and now I'm going to take my regular mozzarella, craft mozzarella, put it on the other side and see how it melts. Okay. Just kind of put it on there. Okay. And my oven mitt. This goes back in the oven for 15 more minutes, okay? Yeah, I mean, you can do 15 and 15, um, which is probably better, obviously, with the applesauce, because we saw how that kind of turned out. Um, but it's going to turn out fine anyways, because I'm going to eat it. And it, that, I mean, it's just, it's for me, me only. Um, it's not going to come out bad, but I'm interested to see. Again, just tasting that, that, that little bite right there was... It's gonna it's gonna taste really good because of the applesauce too. So I'm excited. Um, eat a little bit of pineapple. I really don't care if you don't like pineapple on pizza. I'm not that person that thinks it's this uh, this crazy deal. I don't understand why people hate people that like pineapple on pizza. But oh well. Now, kind of back to what I was talking about, though. I I think we can do better about communication. I think there's this small sect of people, as I've talked about before, that really want to destroy other people. Um, when I look at the people that actually came after Blair and everything like that, I mean, that person had death to America and a hammer and sickle in their profile. When you look at stuff like that, you say, okay, they're communist. When you know communism, you understand that they will do anything and they are fully aware that people are gonna have to die and, and you know, suffer for them to get their ends. So, but to them, the ends justify the means. I believe that going after Blair and others like Blair, Blair has been a figurehead for a lot of people on the right. Um, she's 
trans woman who does not believe in the leftist group think, and they don't like her for that. They don't like me for that. Um, they don't like anybody that's part of the walk away movement. I was never a liberal, so I'm not part of the walk away movement, but I support them because they took the red pill, right? They're already starting to hate on Elon Musk for talking about opening his eyes and taking the red pill, right? Um, which is, 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 is amazing to see because I think Elon Musk is, he is the visionary of today and I have never really cared too much about what his, his politics were um, because I think he's been doing good stuff. I think he's, sometimes it goes a little bit borderline because I've seen enough Black Mirror episodes to know, you know, things can go bad when it comes to technology, but for the most part, it's, it's, it, that's what it is. Now, I think people go after people, you know, these people go after people like Blair, um, and it, and it's the same as history has always done. Um, that's what the left and a lot of far left is turning into. Because I think that they see Blair as a threat. She, like I said, she's kind of been the torchbearer for a lot of us. Um, I admire her a lot for what she does, what she says. I disagree with her on stuff, um, but that's okay. I think she's a great person to have um, fighting with us. But they, when they attack and they're able to get people like her deplatformed. Now, she didn't get deplatformed. She voluntarily closed her account yesterday. She's back on today, so that's a good thing. But when they get somebody like her deplatformed or are able to make her log off, that's a victory for them. They almost see it as a public execution, much like you'd see in any communist regime, you know, North Korea, this is what the Taliban used to do in Afghanistan. Any of their opposition, they would do public executions with, you know, in the stadiums and everything like that to show that you can't disagree. And I think that's what they're going at when they go after people like Blair and stuff like that. They say, this is like a warning to everybody. Now they know Blair is not cancelable. They know she's not going to step away um, from doing all this. So they go after her supporters. Uh, because if you know Blair, her supporters and her fans are like family to her. Um, she cares more about them and protecting them than she cares about, you know, taking the heat herself. Even her friends. Um, so... I, I see a big movement coming on. Um, I think that everybody needs to take time away from social media every once in a while. It's, it's good for the mental health. Um, especially right now when you're stuck inside and everything like that. Take those mental health days. You know, don't get too wrapped up into it. Because... I think everybody's mental states are fragile right now. And um, you, that's the most important thing. You can't let these things get to you. Um, you know. So I don't really know what else I have to say on that topic. Um, it, it's, it's a sombering topic, I know. And... This is not a video I was expecting to make today because I actually didn't have very much to talk about until yesterday. Um, but I wanted to do this video cooking pineapple pizza. Um, and so this just so happened to come up and it kind of drops in the bucket. And 
I think it's important that we support those who have kind of led led the way, but take your own mental health into account. Don't let people bully you, because that's all these people are. They're bullies. They're the anti-bully crowd, but they don't, they're the ones that are bullying the most right now, right? Pizza's turning out. Let's go. Oh. Okay. So, again, let's look at this. So you can see that this side had the regular mozzarella. This side. Ow, that's hot. The other side had uh, regular mozzarella. Now, oh, let me put this back up actually real quick. What we can do now, if you have one, this is my favorite thing, new toy to play with, which is, yes, it is a torch. Lock it in. And so you will see you just kind of brush it with the torch a little bit and you can melt the cheese a little bit better. See, what I've noticed about the, um, the vegan cheese is it does boil up a little bit. It doesn't necessarily melt melt. Um, always. So you can see I kind of got some brown spots because you got to really, really get in there and, and melt them. But they do like to like burn a little bit. But still, it will be good um, just as is. Honestly, um, these pizzas are great. Um, I can use either the vegan toppings or the regular toppings. Um, I'm excited to see how the uh, the applesauce tastes in it. Um, I think it looks great. So it's a little bit softer than usual. Yeah, absolutely way softer. I mean, you ha I eat this with um, forks anyways, but it's, yeah, it's quite a bit softer, but it's a vegan option for a pizza. It's gonna taste a lot like pizza. Um, at least it's not going to taste bad, right? So, um, again, it's low calories, low, low carbs. And this is actually, yeah, absolutely a very low carb meal as well. So if you're on, um, you know, you're taking one of the low carb diets or anything like that. So this is a good option with that. Um, because the bread's not carbed, you know, the cheese, the even the uh, the sausage, the Beyond sausage is not is not carved. And that's the Italian hot sausage, so it's really good as well. Um, so I mean, just uh, this is how you can kind of experiment because this could have gone really bad, um, but I think it turned out really good. So we'll see how again when I eat it how the uh, the applesauce tastes and. Uh, you know, until next time. Um, if you saw, I switched my hat. This is my DJ DJ line on stupensltd.com. Um, I, if you don't subscribe to my DJ channel, um, do so on Facebook. Sarah J is what I go by. And I am hoping to do a live stream uh, set this weekend. I'm excited about it because I have about five five mixes that I've made myself that I'm putting in there, and uh, it's gonna be fun. Um, and and I hope you all really just 
go out there and, and just take social media for what it is, right? It's, it's a place to connect. It's a place to network. It's a place to, you know, share your views. Um, and like I said, my, my only rules when, when connecting with people and is, you know, bring logic and fact into any argument. I don't try to make anything personal about the person that's saying it. And I don't make the arguments um, about myself. I will make anecdotal argument, arguments. But it's not worth losing people over. It's not um, not worth your mental health. Um, so be safe out there. Um, tread lightly, I guess. And... And take care of yourselves, because that's that's what's most important that you take care of yourselves and you're happy. And um, you know, this online profile is not it's not worth everything else. Okay. So without further ado, just like always, like subscribe to my channels, um, like my Twitter at Sarah underscore James two. Um, stupinsltd.com go get some fresh gear um, going into Memorial Day weekend um, we're still giving 20% off to all or we're giving 20% of all profits of our military line to um, veterans organizations and we have our pride line coming up and just in time for pride month we will be dropping a lot, a few more stuff um, in terms of, I got some face masks up there, I got some booty shorts up there, um, on, you know, for the Sarah, Sarah J line, um, you know, the, which is basically our rave line, um, and all the proceeds, uh, you know, 10% of all the profits there are going towards local, um, they're going towards DJs who aren't able to work during this time. Um, we have... Pride line again, which always donates to my um, that local Atlanta Pink Pistols organization, as well as some of the other organizations across the country that are pro Second Amendment. Um, yeah, I mean, just go go check it out. Um, if you have any ideas um, about what you'd like to see, I can do custom stuff. I have a few just pieces of artwork coming out pretty soon. Um, just let me know what you would what you would purchase, and uh, you know DM me everything. I, you know DM me on Twitter on uh, sends um, Stupens Ltd on Facebook or Sarah J on Facebook. Send us a message um, on my Instagram. Send me a message. Um, I look forward to uh, hearing all your all your stuff, and I would love to hear. Any uh, suggestions for future topics or what you'd like to hear more about from me? So, um, without without further ado, I say goodbye. Love you all.